What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome on back to our Pokemon Gaia walkthrough. It is part 4. In the last episode, we took down the first gym leader here in the Saros village, Fernando, who used fairy types. But then he got all mad and ran off towards the Wisp Forest. So we gotta go hunt him down, because technically now we don't even have the first badge, even though we defeated him at fair and square. But yeah, he uh, ran off towards the Wisp Forest, which is located just beyond the Saros Path which is west of Saros Village. So we gotta head through here and go hunt him down. So, uh, yeah, and look at that. You can actually run into wild Pokemon here in these flowers. Um, speaking of the wild Pokemon, in the little flowers, like I just ran into, you can find Flabebe. And uh, in the main grass, you can find stuff like Mareep, both Nidorans, uh, Ralts, and Shellos and Spritzy. So a couple of new options, I think. Uh, I don't know, it's been a couple of weeks since I've, uh, since I've recorded, so I'm not sure some if some of those Pokemon you could have caught beforehand, but whatever. Um, we've got Piplup to the front of the party, and we're going to get to battling some trainers here on the Saros path. And yeah, the goal today is to actually get our first gym badge and add another member to the team. That's right, we will be getting our third Pokemon. And now that I say that, I realize that Right now, the kind of team build is similar to our Pokemon Y walkthrough because we caught two Pokemon before the first gym in both walkthroughs. Now we're catching our third right after the first gym in both walkthroughs. So that is, uh, that's kind of funny. Um, anyways, I'm not sure why we're still fighting Pokemon that are level four, man. What are we doing? This is easy. Level five, really? I could take these people down right after I picked up my Pit Plup, but whatever. I'm sure, you know, the levels will eventually ramp up. It seems like that always happens in ROM hacks. And we're almost level 14, but unfortunately, I think we don't get print up until 16, I believe. So, we've got a few more levels to go. And I'll finish you off with a pound. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Um, this is going up, I think, in the beginning of May. And it's going up, like, right before finals week for me. So... By the time this video goes up, I'm like almost done with my first year of college, which is pretty wild. Pretty wild indeed. Let me go ahead and heal that paralysis. Yeah, I was a little worried I didn't have paralyzed heals, but I think I've done a good job stocking up on items. And I guess the path kind of splits up here. And okay, you just need rock climb there. Um, I guess it's just a little shortcut, but of course we don't have rock climb, so that sucks. And yeah, it's weird that you can run into wild Pokemon here in the flowers, but... I guess it was like that in X and Y too, you know, you had the little flower areas where you could find some other Pokemon. Um, anyways, let's get over here, and I think this is already the last trainer on this little path. There's not there's not too much happening here. There will be a couple of things going on in the Wisp Forest, and uh, yeah, this may be a bit of a shorter episode. I was looking through kind of like what we're going to do today, and uh, honestly, there's just not too many trainers. I mean, these areas are, I think, kind of big, but just not a lot of trainers, which is okay. Um, I'm still gonna fight them all. That is all I know. And you have a Snubble. Yo, how is a level uh, level five Snubble intimidating us though? I mean, come on, really, really. Anyways, um, let's uh, take you out with. Well, I guess it's gonna take two bubbles, but that is that is okay. And then uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get my third team member here on the Saros path. It is uh, it's going to be in the Wisp Forest. So. Um, Maybe if you guys know what the encounter table in the Wisp Forest looks like, then you can uh, you can start making some predictions. Um, come on, don't give me wild Pokemon. There we go. And are we already at the entrance? Well, here's an item first. What do we have? We've got a potion. You know, you're going to find a lot of those at the beginning of the games. And yeah, it looks like this is the entrance. So, time to head. Well, I was trying to read the sign. I shouldn't have, but whatever. I'll just run away from this Marie. And yeah, we will head into the Wisp Forest. Now, I'll go ahead and say there are a ton of new encounters for you to get in here. You can get Pumpkaboo, Pump Burmy, Ghastly, Shroomish, Duskull, Shuppet, Phantup, and Litwig. So, if you're looking for a ghost type, this is uh, this is your place to get them. And it says, those unprepared, turn back now. Nah, this place isn't that scary. But uh, I am actually looking for one of those ghost types. So, let's try to see if we can get it. On the first encounter, yeah, I wasn't expecting to. It's not very common here. And here we go. That's right. I'm going to be using a Litwick on my team. Now, 
the uh, bad thing here is I can barely hit this thing because it's part ghost so I can't go for pound and I can't go for bubble because that's probably going to kill. And then same with uh, Scraggy over here. He only has um, faint attack to hit this thing and that's definitely going to take it out. So my best bet is to kind of just chuck some Pokeballs. I actually only had one remaining in my bag so I had to go back to the Mart and grab a few. But I mean hopefully this thing just stays in the ball like first try. That'd be super cool. Let's go man. Let's go. Didn't even have to do any damage to it. But yeah, Litwick is only a 5% encounter rate in here, so kind of took a minute to find. I literally ran into like everything else before uh, finding this thing, but that is okay. And for a nickname, guess what guys? I actually came prepared with something for once. I know, isn't that crazy? But we're going to be calling this John Wick. I think that is, uh, that, that's pretty smart, you know? That is, that is pretty smart right there if I don't say so myself. So, let's take a look at John Wick. Ghost Fire type, got Flash Fire, looks like we got Up and Speed, Down and Special Defense. Okay, that's fine. Um, and right now, it's uh, got Astonish, Fire Spin, Minimize, and Smog. Um, you know, eventually we'll get some better Fire and Ghost type moves for sure. But yeah, we're going to try to start training this thing up in the, uh, in the upcoming battles. And right here, you're going to see some trees that you could cut down, but we don't even have cut yet. So... That is pretty unfortunate, and looks like we have the first trainer coming up, so I will put you to the front. I don't want to have Litwick in the front of the party during, uh, like, going through the wild grass, because then I already know what happens with all those. We freaking, uh, we freaking run into wild Pokemon and are unable to run away. Um, anyways, could you take down this Weedle? I don't know. I don't, mm, I don't trust you, man. I don't trust you. Not yet. You're only level 7, John Wick. But, uh, hey, I'm pretty proud of, of the John Wick nickname. Even though I may or may not have just searched it up online, you know, I literally typed in like best Litwick nicknames and that's like the first one that popped up. So, hey, you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, I'm super pumped to use a Litwick. I mean, eventually it's going to become a Chandelure um, considering there's a, what stone is it? Is it a Dusk Stone that you need? Um, but I'm assuming if they, if they put a Litwick in the game for you to catch, then there's got to be... The right stone whatever it is i think it's a dust stone but that's you know it's got to be somewhere in this game if not then i guess we're just rocking out with a lamp in for the entire time but uh yeah pretty pumped to use this thing never have i used a uh litwick ghost fire i think is an awesome typing and uh they got really good special attack and stuff so yeah anyways kakuna i am gonna send you out for because i mean what can can, can oh my goodness that was awful what can kakuna do to me you know all it's gonna do is use Harden, so we are uh, we are going to be good. And yeah, Fire Spin of course is gonna do some residual damage, but I mean look at that—it does like literally one hit point. It ain't the best attack in the world. Eventually, I think we'll get like stuff like Flame Burst or Hex, and then we'll really start to be looking pretty good. But he's already in some good experience at level eight right there. Let's go. So yeah, the wild Pokemon are still kind of low but at least because they're low they're gonna gain exp fast we got two levels right there okay john wick making her way up the ladder of the team i see you and let's just try to cut this corner and looks like we've got an item over here to pick up it is a cleanse tag of course you're gonna find that in some kind of like ghostly forest this forest doesn't really look very scary though it looks like a regular old forest but uh it does have a lot of ghost types in it plus burmy apparently so you know um okay we can go either left or up and looks like we're just gonna go up and take on this uh optional youngster right here and again i think this is only um this is already like the last trainer in here or there may be no i think there's one more that we fight a little later on but i mean again just these areas are big but not too many trainers um that's okay though and lit leo's out here hey if you're following the pokemon y walkthrough you know that we have a lit leo on our team but i'm sorry lit leo you gotta you gotta go down here. This isn't Pokemon Y, okay? This is Pokemon Gaia. So I gotta take you down because uh, you're not my friend in this playthrough. And yeah, one bubble is going to do the trick against you. And I think he has one more Pokemon. It's a Budu. All right, Litwick should be able to take this thing on. I may do a little bit of off-screen grinding just to get John Wick caught up with the team. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if I should. Um, I mean, he's doing fine right now against the trainer, so... I don't know. I think I think we'll be okay if we get this thing to like level ten, maybe even eleven at the end of this episode. Then we'll uh, we'll be we'll be okay. 
Um, anyways, two fire spins is going to do the trick. Yeah, can't wait till we get some better moves. I mean, fire spin, I don't even think it's even 100% accurate unless they changed it in this ROM hack. So, hey, that's tough. That's tough, man. Also, not sure if you guys have been able to tell, but I kind of got my tired, like, morning voice right now. Um, because I just got up, like, 30 minutes ago. And now I'm recording. And it's, like, 9 in the morning. But that's okay. I wanted to try and record two today, but I don't think that's going to happen. But it's okay. I'm still ahead either way. And we're getting confused, right? I'll drop Minimize. Um, I just hate those cheap, like, evasiveness moves. And Confuse Ray is 100% accuracy. So it basically always confuses the opponent. So that is, uh, that's pretty nice. Especially to get this early on at level 10. Alright, so making our way through the grass. We're almost done with, uh, this first part of the forest. Because if you remember, we're looking for Fernando. And, uh, let's see. I think this is just a random youngster. I don't know. I gotta check. I forget how Fernando looks. I mean, again, it's been a few weeks since I recorded the, uh, the first three episodes of this series. But let me get away from that Burmy. Even though I probably could one-shot the Burmies. And, yeah, you're looking for Pumpkin Boo. Dude, I think that's like a 30% encounter rate. That's like the most common one. But, yeah, here's Fernando. He's running around all scared and stuff. Like, dude, why did you come here in the first place? Then he apologizes, and he gives us the Mystic Badge. Kind of a cool badge um, for the Fairy-type gym. So, yeah, we finally grab the badge, and we're going to head back to the daycare. Because if you remember, the daycare people are his grandparents. So they're like, oh, thank you for bringing our son back. And he's going to give you HMO1 cut. So there you go. Now you can cut down the trees and stuff. And, uh, yeah, apparently Fernando's kind of sensitive. And uh, he's going to head back to the gym. However, you might have noticed we still haven't gotten a TM. And I'm not sure why he couldn't just give us the TM here. Um, but we have to go back inside the gym and uh, find his little room again in order to in order to grab the TM. So, well, unfortunately, I forget the path that we took to uh, to find him. Am I going the right way? Oh, I actually am going the right way. Hold on. Hey, first try. But yeah, he's going to thank you once again for saving him. And he'll give you TMO3, which I kind of skipped what it was. Charming Cry. Okay, so let me see what that does. Is that new to this game? Um, I don't have a fairy type on the team, so I don't think I'm really going to put it to use. 40 base power fairy type move. Uh, never misses too, so that's nice. Again, I'm not sure if that's new to this game or not, but it is cool either way. So, yay, we got um, Fernando back in the gym. And I think what I'm going to do real quickly, because there's one more area of the forest that we can check out now that we have cut, but I don't want to teach cut to any one of my main team members, so I'm going to catch a little HM Mon real fast. All right, that was easy enough. I went ahead and caught a uh, female Nidoran back on the Saros path. And we can now cut down some of these trees. I think there's one more trainer that we can find, and I guess an item as well. So yeah, I just want to make sure I cover the entire forest here, and this is end up just going to be a uh, this is going to end up being a dead end. By the way, I don't think the forest leads you anywhere. Um, you're actually going to want to start heading east of uh, of Saros Village in order to start making your way over to like the next town and stuff. And we got more wild battles. Oh, of course we do. Of course we do. Um, but anyways, let's just run away from this pumpkaboo and. You know what? I think I'm going to try to give Litwick a chance here against the Hex Maniac. She's probably going to have some ghost types. Ghost is super effective on ghost. Um, I'm surprised we haven't seen more Hex Maniacs in here. And wow, she looks creepy. Ooh, okay. Let's, uh... Oh, man. Level 9, too. Okay. Maybe we can get, like, one kill if we're lucky. <laughs> yeah, we get outsped, too. Alright, did 11. Uh, maybe I should have gone for Fire Spin, because I think our special attack's better. Uh, let's try Fire Spin. But we're probably going to have to end up switching because, yeah, she's doing like exactly 10. Oh, we get flinched. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful. All right, just get out of here, John Wick. Let's go pants. You haven't gotten any action in this episode. And honestly, in the past two videos because, um, I mean, it was a fairy type gym. Then again, I think Scraggy did put in some work, if I'm not mistaken, um, in the gym battle or at least against some of the gym trainers. But he does have faint attack for all of these ghost types, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, after we pick up this TM, there's going to be uh, one more thing that I want to go back and check out. Because now that we have cut, there's a little area in Arkentown that I think has opened up. So don't worry, I'll do a cut back there as well. I know it feels like I'm doing a lot of cuts in this video, but uh, you know, a couple of things that I want to cover. And this one is kind of shorter anyways. Well, actually, we're almost at 15 minutes, so I guess it's really not, but whatever. 
And Murkrow's actually a little scary. Um, yeah, this battle's kind of tough. We went from, like, the bug catchers with, like, level 6 Weedles to now a level 10 Murkrow. Ooh, speed drop is actually clutch right there. And it looks like we're about to get to level 15. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's one level away from evolving. It could be, like, 17, though. I don't know. I swear I never have them right. But, uh, down goes the Murkrow. And, yeah, thank goodness this is the last trainer in here because we are getting baiting up. Level 11 for John Wick. There we go. And we're going to get a double level up with Happy Feet to level 15. And you're trying to get Peck? Uh, yeah, I might as well give it to you. Um, I'll get rid of Water Sport. Um, I could get rid of Tackle too, but I'm like never going to use Water Sport. I don't think I've ever used one of those moves in my life. Um, anyways, last up is a Shuppet. All right, well, we'll do the same little switcheroo strategy. And, uh, yeah, so you got Peck. I know, I know we're like one or two levels away now from, from becoming Prenplup. And, hey, Peck, I mean, it's Peck, but it's some extra type coverage. Kind of gives Piplup something to hit grass types with, so I guess that's nice. Intimidate, I don't think is really going to matter. Yeah, it's going for Nightshade. Hey, I think Scraggy will be able to level up here, too, so... Everyone's getting levels. That's good. That's good. We like to see that for sure. For sure. Faint attack. One hit KO. I ain't even worried about that. And I think there was a TM um, beyond this trainer. Oh, come on. We were like, yo, we were like one, one freaking little bar of experience or whatever away from leveling up. And yeah, TM10 hidden power right here. All right. So um, I think we are, uh, we are go going to head back to Saros Village now, and, um, then we'll head back to Arkentown, like I said. So, I think I can just, um, not do a cut back to the village. We're already pretty close anyways, <sighs> unless I run into wild Pokemon, that's going to be annoying, and we do, with two steps left. But yeah, we gotta go back and meet, um, the Professor Redwood. Almost forgot his name for a second, but yeah, Redwood is uh, going to be back. I think he's looking at one of the little agent tablets that you may or may not have already seen back in Saros Village. So, can I take a shortcut? Alright, I can hop over that ledge, but then no, we need stupid rock climb. Yo, that's annoying, man. This is annoying too, just running into more wild Pokemon. In hindsight, I probably should have just done a quick cut, but it's fine. Hey, at least I'm not fighting all these Pokemon. Not that it really could because my team would like die and I'm not trying to lose money. Money's already kind of hard to come by so far in the uh, early parts of the game. I've been trying to like stock up on items in the mart, but every time I walk in there, I only have like 3,000 Poke Dollars. It's good enough to get me like five Pokeballs and five potions and that's it. So um, yeah, that's another reason why, uh, why I like to fight all of the trainers. So I think we need to make our way back to the northwest part of town over here. And yeah, you can cut down these trees now. And this is going to be the other entrance to um, the Arkin Tunnel. So Redwood's going to catch up with us. And he's like, hey, that looks like the exit. Yeah, how have you not found it yet? I saw it like right as I walked in here. Um, but Billy, our rival, catches up with us. And we got this little Tangrowth, like Asian painting or whatever, is here on, on the wall. And really, um, let's see, this dude's talking about a friend that can, like, translate these things in Arrow City, I think that's going to be the next city, so Billy's off to that, uh, that way, and, uh, uh other than that, Redwood's just going to stay here for, like, the rest of eternity and check it out, so that is, uh, that's pretty cool, but you do need to make sure you come in here and do that, and the last thing we're going to do, again, is head back through the Arkin Tunnel and do one quick thing in Arkentown. And just like that, I'm back here in Arkentown. And if you remember, there's this tree that we can cut down and we can pick up a uh, super potion behind it. However, you may also notice something else. There's a little, like, darker kind of shade in between these trees. And that's because hidden grottos are a thing in this game. Um, I think the rival or someone else might have mentioned them before. But uh, right now in this one, you can just find the TM39 Rock Tomb. So it could be worth it to come back. But yeah, no Pokemon in there, at least right now. But that's all I really wanted to do here in Arkentown. Just a couple of things to uh, touch up on. Also, I did notice, um, if you remember, there was another little Asian tablet over here. This one was Relicanth. So clearly these things are going to play some sort of role in the story. However, for now, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next time we're heading east of Saros Village to continue our journey. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, deuces.